story Prince remembered. The 57-year-old was cremated and also memorialized by close friends on Saturday. And as SNL catches heat for their TV tribute, Prince's musical peers honor the Purple One on stage and off. It was an emotional performance that would have touched Prince from an artist he greatly admired. The boss paid tribute to the late legend in Brooklyn Saturday, singing his iconic anthem on a stage bathed in purple. Across the country in California at the Coachella Music Festival, the outpouring of love and respect continued. Usher belted out his best prince surrounded by purple rain, while Ellie Goulding covered one of the superstars 14 number ones. This is what it sounds like And during his Vegas show, Elton John continued to mourn the artist he remembered as one of the all-time greatest. In Seattle, Rihanna on tour saluted the man she admired, while Eric Clapton revealed how Prince may have saved his life. Posting on Facebook, Clapton recalls discovering Prince when he was struggling with his own depression. During a downward spiral with drinks and drugs, Clapton described watching Prince perform. It was like a bolt of lightning that gave me hope. You're getting down right now. SNL dedicated Saturday's episode to the lead artist, but some fans immediately cried foul after seeing skits like this. Prince wants to know what you put in his noodles this morning. He burnt his tongue. The complaints believe the parodies were in poor taste and just way too soon. It's SNL. That's what they do. That's what they do. First of all, I did see the SNL skit, and I didn't think it was disrespectful, but for people who are grieving over the loss of Prince, their ability to laugh and have a sense of humor may not be so heightened at this point in time. Psychotherapist Dr. Robbie Ludwig explains how people react differently when it comes to losing a celebrity unexpectedly after admiring them for decades. For people who really idolized Prince during their youth, they will feel like a part of their youth has been lost. And later on, we're going to go inside the making of Prince's most iconic film, Purple Rain. It won multiple Grammys and an Oscar, but why it almost didn't see the light of day. Well, from Prince to the Queen. Mm. Queen. Only one to see. I mean, how amazing was he? That is Prince performing Purple Rain during his Atlanta show just one week before his death. Right. His chills, oh my gosh. That song and that movie will live on forever. But believe it or not, this musical masterwork almost didn't happen. Let's go inside the making of Purple Rain. Nobody digs your music but yourself. I don't care. I don't care pretty much sums up Prince's response to the naysayers of making Purple Rain the movie. When was the last time you watched it? Uh, I was in the living room three days ago and it came on television and I watched Take Me With You. Music journalist Alan Light wrote the book on the subject. They don't just go around handing out feature films to anybody who's got a song on the radio. In Let's Go Crazy, Prince and the Making of Purple Rain, the former senior editor of Rolling Stone says Prince told him that people thought he was crazy for trying to get the film made. He had a vision and he had an ambition and he went to his managers and said, you're going to get me a film deal and if you don't, you're fired and I'll find somebody who can. No needs the best actor, son. It seemed ridiculous, you know, a first time director, Prince was the star, he'd never acted before. He had a new tune written by a couple great girls. His band was the cast. They shot in the winter in Minneapolis. You have to purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. What part of that sounds like that's going to be a blockbuster? That sounds like a disaster. And yet, the film surprised critics and broke records, including earning Prince an Oscar for Best Original Song Score. It was the first time that anybody simultaneously had the number one album, movie, and single all at the same time. They made back their investment opening weekend, won an Academy Award. 
Could there be more to come? There are other scenes that were shot. Purple Rain. If you go back and look at the trailer, there are some shots from scenes that didn't end up being used in the movie. Um, you know, there are some other things that are out there. It's going to be fascinating to see what happens. He really was a true original. Oh, without question. And